Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another naked face car vlog. Okay, I'm only gonna be in the car for a couple minutes here and then the second half of the video is gonna be something else, but I wanted to do a very small Hobby Lobby fall haul with you guys. So it has been hot as the devil's you know what. And my AC was out for like the first half of the week, actually from Monday through Thursday. And it was, it was temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s. We were dead, okay, we were deceased. And so it's finally fixed, thank God. Um, and I just needed a fall fix. So I stopped into Hobby Lobby, I picked up two things. One of the items that I picked up, I saw in, the, uh, in a video on the channel called Eight, The 80s Thrifter. So I'm gonna link her below, go check her video out, let her know that I sent you. But I saw something in her video and I was like, I have to have that, I don't care if I pay full price because it's not an expensive item anyways. And then I picked up one other thing. While I was in there, I was keeping in mind to look for items that I could possibly dupe with a Dollar Tree item. If you haven't already seen my Dollar Tree dupes for Hobby Lobby Fall Decor video, it is the last video here on my channel. I'm gonna link it below. Thank you guys for all the love on that video. It's so cool to see what you can get at Dollar Tree instead of Hobby Lobby who is way overpriced. So I have a couple more things to share with you that are um, dupes, if you will. And there's a few items I saw that are actually even cheaper at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna share that with you too because I don't care if you buy something at Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Michaels, Pottery Barn. I just want you to spend your money in, in the most efficient, effective, smart way. Um, or at least give you the information to do that. So I'm, I'm gonna share those items as well. And yeah, let's get into the tiny little haul. This is the item that I saw in the 80s thrifters video and I just, I love this guy. I'm not like crazy about the gnome fad. I typically see it a lot in Ray Dunn style decor, like more farmhousey. I've never really purchased one on my own, I don't think. I know at Christmas time I had one that was gifted to me as it was like a little gnome that sat on top of a bottle and I, I incorporated that into my decor. I thought it was really cute but I've never purchased one on my own until now. So he was $5.99, there's three different ones. They're all online, so maybe I'll insert pictures so you can see what they look like. But this one was my favorite. He's holding the little acorn um, and leaf garland. And I'm gonna probably put this in my coffee bar. I just, I can't get over how stinking cute he is. So I didn't get a, um, I didn't get a sale on him because the next item that I purchased is more expensive, but six bucks, you know. Is it great? No. Is it terrible? No. So that is this guy. And then the other item I got, you probably saw it sitting there, is this eucalyptus. It's real dried eucalyptus. It's in these rusty um, browns, kind of orange, burgundy, and this was $9.99. I used the 40% off coupon on that item. Like I just tossed this dried, fragile, greenery over here okay anyways i used the 40 percent off coupon on that and it ended up coming out to 5.99 so my total before tax was 11 dollars 98 and i don't think that's too bad i am going to be hiding this from my boyfriend so that he doesn't see that i have been out fall shopping hey babe if you're watching i didn't do this this is a figment of your imagination you're dreaming Okay, anyways, now I'm going to share the dupes with you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. All right, so before we get into the dupes, I want to mention a couple things. The Hobby Lobby version will be on the left, the Dollar Tree version on the right. In my first video, I put prices on both sides and dimensions on both sides. I'm not going to be putting pricing for Dollar Tree. It's $1 every single time. And I'm not going to be able to put dimensions for Hobby Lobby because I saw these items in store and I didn't have a ruler with me, so I couldn't measure for you guys. But I will let you know if they're similar sizes for sure. And the last thing that I want to say is that when we're talking Hobby Lobby pricing, I am thinking of these items as 40 or 50% off because they will, in a few weeks, go on sale for 40% off then 
50 or maybe 30, 40, then 50. And you never want to buy a Hobby Lobby item full price, even though I did today because I was desperate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'll probably mention that a few times. I just wanted to put that out there in case you didn't know that these items do go on major sale once we get closer to the season. So the first dupe that I have for you guys are these pearlized pumpkins that I believe are gonna be new at Dollar Tree this year. I grabbed all the Dollar Tree pictures from the website, so these are current and not from a previous year. But anyways, these obviously cost a dollar. The Hobby Lobby version will be $2 um, when it goes on sale, at least $2. And so if you go for the Dollar Tree version, you'll save yourself at least a buck. These are going to be similar sizes. The one I'm holding on the left from Hobby Lobby, it's roughly the same size as what we typically see from ceramic pumpkins from Dollar Tree. So if you are looking for little tiny ceramic pumpkins, always check Dollar Tree first and avoid them at Hobby Lobby. So this is going to be the first item that I think you should get at Hobby Lobby versus Dollar Tree. These really cool kind of burlap oak leaves uh, they're carried at both Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree, and when these go on sale at Hobby Lobby, you'll be able to get 16 leaves for about $2.50, whereas at Dollar Tree, you will have to spend $3 to get 15 leaves. It's not a huge difference, but if you're into penny pinching, then Hobby Lobby is the way to go when they're on sale. Some leaves that you probably should get at Dollar Tree, though, is this 50-count pack of maple leaves. You obviously get 50 for $1, whereas at Hobby Lobby, you will get 35 for around $3. I think that the Dollar, Dollar Tree ones are adequate. However, I think that the Hobby Lobby ones might have wired stems, so it'll make your life a little bit easier if you're planning on crafting with them. But honestly, I don't, I don't need wired stems, so if it were me personally, I would get the Dollar Tree version and get way more leaves for $1. Now this is possibly my favorite Dollar Tree dupe for a, a Hobby Lobby item of all time. I was so excited when I saw these signs on the right on the Dollar Tree website and they have been hauled on um, YouTube already. So they look really cute from what I could tell from the video that I saw them in. Now they are not an exact dupe for the signs on the left, but you can see they're very similar. The thankful sign, one down from the top, has the same buffalo check and of course it has the same phrase thankful and i like the addition of the pumpkins so these signs from dollar tree are, are of course going to cost you one dollar while the ones from hobby lobby are 5.99 making them closer to three dollars when they are on sale and they're not the exact same size i think the dollar tree one is a little bit longer and thinner whereas the hobby lobby version is shorter in length and a little bit taller in height so this is another item from Hobby Lobby that I think you should purchase instead of Dollar Tree. You get the set of two straw bales for $2 when they go on sale. So that's technically the same price as if you were to buy two from Dollar Tree, which I typically see people pick up more than one of these straw bales from Dollar Tree but they are two inches longer from Hobby Lobby. So it is more bang for your buck, even though they're the same price. The Hobby Lobby version is bigger and I would go for that instead of the Dollar Tree one. So both Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree have these sets of really pretty glittered maple leaves. The Hobby Lobby ones are more ornament style, whereas the Dollar Tree ones have clips on the back. If you get the Hobby Lobby ones, you'll be paying $2 for the set of two, whereas at Dollar Tree, of course, it's $1 for the set of two. I will say to Hobby Lobby's credit, there's not as much glitter fallout as the Dollar Tree ones, but there's some pretty simple fixes for that. You can use clear Mod Podge, and I've heard hairspray works as well. So that's a couple solutions if you wanna get the Dollar Tree ones instead. Let's talk picks for just a minute here. I think that Hobby Lobby typically by far has better looking and quality picks, but you are going to pay quite a bit more for them. So I saw these pomegranate ones on the left at Hobby Lobby today and they are $9.99. So they'll be about $5 on sale. The Dollar Tree has some really nice pomegranate picks as well. There's way less pomegranates on it, but I think you can get the same look 
by maybe buying three or four. So it is a bit of a savings to get these at Dollar Tree. And if you like to plan ahead, I think these pomegranates would be beautiful as picks in a Christmas tree. So I think Dollar Tree wins here, but Hobby Lobby looks a little bit nicer and is better quality. Just one more pick to share with you guys. This pumpkin pick from Hobby Lobby is going to be about $7.50 when it goes on sale. I think the Dollar Tree ones on the right are very similar. Just like the pomegranates, there's less pumpkins on the Dollar Tree version, but you can buy a few of them and achieve a similar look. And these are actually some of my favorite picks from Dollar Tree for the fall time. I bought a few of them last year. I used them in DIYs and in my decor, and I totally recommend them. Okay, I guess I technically lied because this next item from Hobby Lobby is a pick. It is this white, really cute little pumpkin pick. And the white pumpkin on the right that I have circled is from the Dollar Tree website, of course. Dollar Tree sells all of these little pumpkins and gourds as a lot on their website. But when you see these in store, they are $1 a piece. And the white ones are highly sought after for DIYs and for the neutral lovers who like more of a simplistic kind of farmhouse look for their fall decor. I don't like these from Dollar Tree. They are very yellowed. They literally look like a cat peed on them. And they are more expensive than this one on the left from Hobby Lobby that is $1.50 when it is full price. So when these go on sale, it will be less than a dollar. And I like that it has a little pick on the bottom so that it makes it really easy to put in floral arrangements on a wreath in a garland but of course you can very easily pull that out and it just leaves a very tiny little hole in the bottom if you don't want it as a pick so i totally recommend the hobby lobby a uh, little white pumpkin pick versus the white pumpkin from dollar tree and last but certainly not least because these are also one of my favorite dupes from this video these velvet pumpkins so dollar tree had velvet pumpkins last year i guess i saw some people haul them my stores never got these and I was hunting them down like a mad woman, you guys. I never found them. But I did have a slight velvet pumpkin obsession last year. I bought so many, I hauled so many, and I just love them. So the ones from Hobby Lobby are even in the same colors basically as what's at Dollar Tree, and they are $4.99 full price, so they'll be closer to $2.50 when they go on sale, which it's not bad at all. I like the stem on them a lot better, but of course the Dollar Tree ones are going to be more affordable. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm hoping to get my hands on the Dollar Tree ones. Ones. I'm hoping to get my hands on the Hobby Lobby ones when they go on sale. I'm velvet pumpkin obsessed. That's an understatement. I just love them so much. So this is definitely one of my favorite dupes, but I think you can't go wrong with either the Hobby Lobby one or the Dollar Tree one. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my very tiny haul and seeing more dupes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye, guys.